the smiling animal at his appointed hour. She died alone, and he, the man who did it, was grinning as he slithered out the door. Sure he could kill and never be convicted, could lay blame in a jury's eyes on her, convince them all that some red mist descended, and he, in shock, in panic, couldn't think beyond his mammal need to be defended. So mind and body acted out of sync, or so he'd claim. No countermanding witness would prove him wrong. The neighbours didn't care. The best had turned a blind eye to the business. The worst said, loudly, she should not be there. And now she wasn't. He was what they wished for, wasn't he? Did what they couldn't? No. Just took it further. His the hands that killed her. There's the eyes that, smiling, willed it so.